In this example, I'm going to show you how to perform a test uh, for a population proportion using the calculator. An airline claims that the no-show rate for passengers is less than 5%. In a sample of 420 randomly selected reservations, 19 were no-show. At alpha equals 0 0.01, test the airline's claim. Round to the nearest thousands when calculating the test statistic. Okay, the first step is to state the null in the alternative hypothesis. It's saying that the percent of no-show is less than 5% uh, right here. So, so uh, we have uh, less than 5% is the no-show. So the alternative hypothesis uh, should be P less than 0 0.05. And that's where the claim is. The null hypothesis is always P equals 0 0.05. The alternative should have the less than or greater than or not equal to. And the null, it's always the equal sign. In the sample of 420, so N is what? N is 420. Uh, 19 were no-shows. This is the number of successes, number of no-shows. So this is, we call it X. X is always less than N. And he tells us that we need to test that alpha equals 0 0.01. Okay, in order to proceed to the calculator, we have to make sure that the requirements of the test are met, which you need to check that N times P times Q is greater than or equal to 10. N is 420. P is 0 0.05. And Q is 0 0.95. And if you multiply those three numbers, guys, you're going to find out that it is greater than 10. Let me go now to the calculator and show you how to find the standardized test statistic and the p-value on it. So you go to stat, tests. It's a prop z-test. Every time you do a proportion test, it's number five, proportion z-test. P0, what do you enter in P0? You enter the assumed value in the null hypothesis, which is 0 0.05. And press enter. X, X is the number of successes, which is 19. N is the sample size, which is 420. Now, what do you do here? You choose the alternative sign, the alternative hypothesis sign, which is less than. So you have to move to the second one and press enter and then calculate and here you go that's z z with three digits he says negative 0 0.448 and what's the p-value which is the most important value in here with four decimal digits which is 0 0.3272 now how do we make a decision to reject ho or fail uh, uh, to reject uh, HO, we make a decision based on if the p-value is more than alpha or less than alpha. He asked us to check at alpha equals 0 0.01. So, alpha is 0 0.01. My p-value is 0 0.3272, which is more than 0 0.01, which is alpha. So what's your decision? Fail to reject HO. And now we need to write your, uh, interpret our decision in the context of the claim. If you fail to reject HO and the claim is in HA, you cannot support the claim. So you say there is not enough evidence. at the 0 0.01 level of significance. To support the airline's claim. That the percent of no-show is less than 5%. This is how you use the calculator. As you can see, it's very simple. If you know how to identify the alternative hypothesis and know what X is and what N is, you just plug them into the calculator and you get the p-value. If your p-value is less than alpha, you reject HO. And if your p-value is more than alpha, you fail to reject HO. It is as simple as that.